Clear Creek Middle School is located in Gresham, Oregon and serves roughly 650 students. Our community is located about 10 miles east of Portland and has a population of over 100,000 people. Last fall, we watched helplessly as major hurricanes tore through southern Texas, Puerto Rico, and Florida. These hurricanes, RV and Maria, caused well over $200 billion in damage and killed over 600 people. During the coverage of these hurricanes, we heard broadcasters warn people not to go in the attics of their homes. This advice was based on the experience gained from Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans. Almost 2,000 people died as a result of Hurricane Katrina, and many of them drowned. Some people sought shelter in their attics and got trapped. This got us to thinking. Why can't people more effectively use all of the parts of their home during a natural disaster? Commercial buildings have hatches that allow access to the roof. Why don't homes have the same level of egress from the buildings? We decided to create a hatch that can be placed on a home to provide a safe escape from the upper levels of the house if needed. We worked with our local metal fabricator on a design and creation of our hatch. We toured their shop and saw the amazing things that they can make with their incredible machines and skill. We met with the emergency manager of our city to better understand how communities plan for and respond to natural disasters. She gave us helpful feedback about our ideas and processes. We decided that our hatch would need to be more than just an opening. We wanted it to be a beacon to rescuers. To this end, we are working with an electrical engineer to include a series of LED lights that will flash the international SOS signal. When activated, the signal will draw the attention of rescuers and alert them that a family is in need of help. We are also writing code that will allow the microprocessor to broadcast a message on the FM band. The Wildcat family is in need of rescue. They are located at 219 Northeast, 219th Avenue in Gresham, Oregon. This message can be received up to 300 feet from the hatch on a predetermined FM frequency. Searchers in boats can tune into this frequency to help guide them to those in need of assistance. 